Hi, and welcome to Canada's National Dairy Study Technique video for stall lameness scoring. This video was brought to you by funding from Dairy Research Cluster 1 and 2. This video is not meant to be a training video, but rather it is meant to familiarize you with install behavioral indicators of lameness. These behaviors include rest, shift, edge, and uneven steps. Remember, in order for a cow to be considered lame, she must show at least two of these four behaviors. Before we begin showing examples of these behaviors, let's go over some basic principles first. Stall lameness assessments can only be done after cows have been standing for at least three minutes. So for example, if you see that cows are lying down, you should stand them up at least three minutes before scoring. Avoid recording cows when they are anticipating something such as feedings or milking. This is because cows might be changing behavior due to excitement. It is important to stand where you can see all four feet and watch for 90 seconds. If the cow urinates or defecates, disregard any behavioral indicators that occur five seconds before or after the excrement. Only record behavioral indicators once the cow has returned to normal standing posture. Now we will review the four behaviors to look for during the 90 second observation window. First, we will describe and show examples for the behavioral indicator rest. A rest is when the cow picks up one hoof or part of one hoof off the ground and returns it to the same position. This does not apply for licking or kicking behavior. In this example, you can see the cow first takes a step backwards slightly. This is not a rest. Following this, she lifts her foot up and directly places it back down. This is a rest right here. In this next example, we see the cow lift up the back of her hoof and place it back down in the same position. This is still considered a rest. In this example, the cow clearly picks up her foot and places it directly back down in the same position. In this example, the cow picks up her right foot and places it back down in the same position. This last example is not a rest. The cow picks up her foot and moves it backward before placing it back down. Let's watch her take that step backward again. Next, we will describe and provide examples for the behavioral indicator shift. A shift is a four beat process either right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right. Regular repeated shifting of weight from one hoof to the other. Repeated shifting is defined by lifting each hoof off the ground at least twice. In this example of a shift, you see the cow pick up her left foot, then right, then left, then right again. In this example, which is not a shift, you see the cow do three beats, right, left, right. Next, we will describe and provide examples of the behavioral indicator edge. An edge is described as the placement of part of one hoof off the edge of the stall while standing stationary. This can be one or both hooves. In this example of an edge, we see that the cow has her left foot partially on the mat and her heel off of the mat. This is considered an edge. In this next example, this cow also has her left foot partially on the mat and her heel hanging off the edge, hence why we call it an edge behavior. 
For our last behavioral indicator, we will describe and show examples of uneven steps. For uneven steps to be identified, one person shifts the cow left to right while the other person observes for uneven steps. This behavior is described as uneven weight bearing between hooves when the cow is encouraged to move side to side. This is demonstrated by greater rapid movement of one hoof relative to the other or by evident reluctance to bear weight on one limb. In this clip, we can see that the cow is choosing not to bear weight evenly. She is moving her right leg more rapidly in order to spend less time on the left leg. This cow would be considered uneven. This is considered one of the more challenging behaviors to identify. So let's watch it again. As we move the cow from left to right, we see that the cow is avoiding placing weight on her left leg while she moves the right more rapidly. Here is another example of uneven steps. In this clip, it is more challenging to decide which foot is uneven because both feet appear sore. She is taking short steps in order to minimize the time she spends bearing weight on only one foot. Once again, this can be difficult to identify, so let's watch it again. In this clip, it is more challenging to decide which foot is uneven because the cow is reluctant to bear weight on either foot. She is taking short steps in order to minimize the time she spends bearing weight on only one foot at a time. Remember, most importantly, a cow is only considered lame when she shows two of these four behaviors during the observation window. This video is brought to you by contributions from Dairy Cluster One Research. Video design and narration was by myself, Stephanie Croyle, and expertise for the video was brought by Clemence Nash. Funding was provided by Cluster One and Two, Dairy Farmers of Canada, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, the Canadian Dairy Network, and the Canadian Dairy Commission. This method was developed based off the Leach method from research collaborators at the University of Bristol. Detailed description can be found in the Animal Care Assessment Manual online through DFC.